Okay. So yeah, please pay maximum attention. Pay maximum attention from this side going. Because if you are able to catch it, that's all. If you are unable to catch the anointing, so pay attention to it and catch the anointing. Yes. Yes, sir. So read for me. A company charges 700 for a radio set on an order of 60 or less sets. The charge is reduced by 10 CDs per set for each set ordered in excess of 60. Find the largest size order company should allow so receiving so as receiving maximum revenue. So oh, thank you very much. So a company charges 700 Ghana CD for a radio set on an order of 60 or less. Do you understand it? Do you understand this first sentence? Yes, sir. So it means that when you are ordering from one to 60, 60 or less means that from one to 60, isn't it? Yes, sir. So from one to 60, you will pay 700 per set. You understand it? Yes, please. Good. But as you go above 60, the charge, which is the price, goes down by 10 cities <laughs> per set. So every set above 60, the price goes down by 700. You understand it? So okay. it goes the down price by goes down by 10. 10 cities. Yeah, by 10 cities. Yes, sir. Do you understand it? Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes. Sir. Good. So for first 60, we know that the price is 700 per set. So we can find the revenue for the first 60, isn't it? Yes, sir. Good. But then the system here is not their maximum output. The assistant is not the maximum output. The system there is not giving them the maximum revenue. So we are to find the output that will give them the maximum revenue. You understand it? So yes, the sir. question is, find the largest size order a company should allow so as receiving maximum revenue. So this is how we start. So current, okay, first 60, let me start. First 60, the price is what? 700. Price is 700. <laughs> Are we okay? Now, yes, sir. Oh. That is first sixty. The system here is not the maximum. So we are finding the maximum output, isn't it? So we can yes, say sir. that let X be the maximum. Output. <laughs> Are you okay? Let X be the maximum one output. So if X is the maximum output, then what will be the order above 60? Who can tell me? If X is the total output, what will be the order above 60? X minus 60. Exactly. Who is that? Minus 60. SP. 
Ah, you are, you are, you are really a school prefect. So, the order above 60 will be, you know that for the first 60 year, we know their price. So we can easily find the revenue for the first 60. So this is how we are attacking the question. First 60, we can find the revenue. Now we'll find the order above 60 and also find the revenue for the order above 60. Then that will be our answer. Then we'll add the two. That is how we are attacking the question. So first system, we know the price per each, so we can find the revenue. Now we'll find the order above 60 and the price for the order above 60, then we'll move. So this is finding the function. All this is to find the function of interest. And look at how we are going about it. So our first system, in first system, price is 700. Now we are saying that let X be the maximum output. So if X is the maximum output, then order above 60. Order above 60 is what? X minus 60, isn't it? Yes, sir. Good. So we now know The order above. Now let's find the revenue for uh, the pro, uh, the price for the order above sixty. Now the price for the order above sixty. The question says that the charge is reduced by ten cities per set for each set ordered in excess of sixty. So we know the excess of sixty, right? We know the order in excess of sixty. That is x minus sixty. So yes, the price. So The price for excess of 60 The price for excess of 60 is we know that the price which is 700 is reduced by reduces which sign minus minus minus, minus. reduced okay. by 10 times the excess times the order in excess of 60 so what is the Order in excess of 60. X minus 60. X minus 60. Yeah, is it? Please, do you understand this? So the price of the excess of 60, which is the price, which is 700, is reduced by 10 times the order above 60. So this one is times the order above 60. They said the charge is reduced by the by 10 Ghana CD per set for each order. So for every order above 16, it will go down by 10. So how many orders are above 16? Multiply by 10. Okay, for each order above 16. So how many orders are above 16? And that is, we know X, is X minus 16. So multiply all of them. So for each of them, it will go down by 10. So 10 times this, 10 times the order, this order, 10 times the order. Yeah. Yes. So, so here we have, because the price for the excess of 60, I mean, I was thinking it would be 700 minus 10, so it will be 690. Yeah, no, no, that will be for one order. <laughs> Above 60. If you do that, then it means that there was only one order above 60. Okay, so once we have the 690, we multiply it by the order above 60. No, 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 no. That 690, that 690 is for one order above 60. All right. So, so for for we'll each, the, the thing is that take it like that for each set. For each set, order the nurses of 60. For each. So if you go up by one, it will go up by, by it will go down by 10. If you go up by another one again, the price will go down by 10 Ghana again. If you go down by another, so he said for each set ordered in excess of 60. They didn't say for set ordered in excess for each set. Okay. So, so for example, if it goes up by one, if it is 61, the price will go down by 
10. If it goes down to 60, if it goes up to 62, the price will go down by 10 again. 63, it will go down by 10 again. For the more you go above 60, the price reduces by 10 each time. Do you understand it? Yes. Any other? Yes, please. You all understand it. I think we'll catch up. Yes, they will catch up. You all understand it. Yes, sir. So for yes, each set that for each set above 60, the order goes down by 10. So it means that find the total order that was above 60 and multiply by 10. That is what we have. So the total order above 60 is the x minus 60. You multiply by 10 and subtract it from this from the current chart. Are we okay? Yes, sir. Good. So simplifying this, we'll have 700 minus 10x plus 600 plus 600. So 700 plus 600 gives us what? 1,000. So time 300 minus what? 10. So this is the price for excess of 60. Are you okay? Are we okay? Yes, sir. Good. So our yes, total sir. revenue. Our total revenue will be what? The revenue for the first uh, 60. And how do you find revenue for first 60? It is 60 times what? 700. Two times 700. Plus the revenue for the excess 60. Now, how do you find the revenue for the excess 60? It is the price for the excess 60, which is 1,300 minus 10. Minus 10x. Thousand three hundred minus ten x times the order above sixty, which is x minus sixty. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Are you all following? So the total revenue here, I'm saying that it is the yes. revenue for the first sixty. Pay attention. Pay attention. Let me finish talking so that you ask your question. I'm saying that the total revenue is one. The revenue for the first 60. And how do you find revenue? In fact, well, let's first, first of all, let's quote the revenue function. How do you find revenue? Revenue is what? Price times quantity. Quantity. So I'm saying that the revenue for the first 60, what is the, what is the, uh, let me bring the price first. Revenue for the first 60, what is the price? 700. 700 times, what is the quantity? 60 or less. 60. No, 60. No, don't forget about the less. 60. Yes, sir. So that's revenue for the first. Uh, revenue for the first 60. Now the revenue for the excess, what is the price? So the price is 1,003 minus 10x. Good. So here is it. 1,300 minus 10x. And what is the order for the excess above 60? Or the excess, uh, what is the order? X minus 60. X minus 60. And that is what you have here. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So who has a question before we proceed? I said this. I wanted to know why the order above 60 is x minus 60. Oh, that was the first question I asked. And someone answered, well, well, is it that your network was messing up? We are saying that let x be the maximum output. Look at what here. Say, I, I heard it, but I was 
one why isn't it like maybe let's say 60 plus x so if x is the maximum output and let's say we got the maximum output to be 100 find the order that is about 60 how will you find it so you take 60 out the one who was asking the question i want you to talk so please you subtract the 60 you will subtract 60 from what the maximum which is 100 so it will be what 100 word minus 60. But we don't know that 100. That's why we have represented with it, X. You understand it? Thank you. Yes. Good. So that's it. Let's proceed. So moving on, we'll now simplify. So 42,000. 42,000 plus, open this bracket. Okay, let me, let me print something like this so that we we'll understand this. So here, you can put it in square bracket and open this bracket first. So 42,000. 1,300 times X, what do you get? Thousand three hundred times X, what do you get? Thousand three hundred X. Thousand three hundred X. Now thousand three hundred times sixty. Negative three thousand five hundred. So negative three thousand eight hundred. Three thousand. Thousand. Eh? I can't hear you. Seven thousand eight hundred. Seven thousand eight hundred. Okay. Negative ten x times x. Seventy-eight thousand. Seventy-eight thousand. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Negative ten x times x. Negative ten x squared. So, negative ten x squared. I'll bring my square later. Then negative 10x times the 60 times the negative 60. Positive 60x. 600x. 600x squared. Let's simplify. So, the negative 10 x squared will, will start first. Negative 10 x squared will start first. Then 1300x plus 600x. 1900x. 1900x. Thousand nine hundred X. Then forty two thousand. Forty two thousand minus seventy eight thousand. Negative thirty six thousand. Negative what? Six thousand. Becomes our function of interest. T R. Please, I hope you understand. Yes, sir. So this is our function of interest. This is our function of interest. Then once we have our function of interest, we can now what? Differentiate, equate to zero, and solve for x. So at extremum, f prime of x is equal to zero. So what we differentiate, we get what? 
Negative 20x. Plus 9,900 9, is equal to zero. So negative 20x is equal to negative 1,900. X is equal to negative 1,900 over negative 20. And what do you get? Nine five. Ninety five. And mm -hmm. S is what? Ninety Ninety-five. X is equal to ninety-five. Let's check if that will be the maximum. So what we differentiate second time, what will it be? Negative You get negative one. Negative. 20. 20. Negative 20 is less than zero. So that is the maximum. That is the word, the maximum. Are we okay? Yes. Yeah, that is the maximum word. The maximum what? output of what? That is the output that would give us the maximum revenue, the largest size. The negative 20. No. No, the, the, X, 90 the, point. the negative 20 is just a test to tell us that this is the maximum. The 95. Yes, this is the answer we are interested in. But I want to know if truly this is the maximum point. So we'll do the okay. second order derivative test by differentiating the function twice. And when we differentiate the function, we get negative 20. Negative 20 is less than zero, hence the point is maximum. If you were here the uh, on, on when... Uh, Wednesday, you would understand if you were not here, go and read, uh, watch the video. I, I get you. I was, I was there, so don't worry. Wow. I get it. Now, we can solve this question another way. You just define your x uh, differently. Okay? We can say that I can say let X be the order. So pay attention. Be the order above six. So you can see that here my X, the definition of my X has changed. Are you following? Yes, sir. X is the order above what? 60. So for the system, I know their price. For the first system, I know the price. Now the order above 60 is X. So what is the price for the order above 60? So price for order above 60. Seven, seven hundred minus ten. Price for the order above system would be what? Seven hundred minus ten times the order above system. Take note of that. It's not just seven hundred minus ten. For each set, I told you I explained the first time when someone was asking why we are multiplying by x minus system. Here, our x minus system is the order above system. So, so we have the minus 10 times the order above system, which is S minus 60. In this case, our order above system is X. So price for the order above system will be 700 minus 10, what? X. Sir. Yes. Question. Sir, please. So if a question comes and then it's not in sets, it means we wouldn't have to use the multiplier by the X. Which, if we should. which question comes and it is not in sets? Okay, 
you are saying that we are bringing the eggs because of the um you explain that per set for each set ordered in excess of 60 and i'm and i'm saying that if a question comes in it's not in set like how this one is put I can't really because I don't know how the question will be. So I can't really comment on that unless I see the question and I can comment. Yes, Japan. Japan. Can we go on? Yes, sir. Okay. So price for order above 60 is 700 minus 10x. Now, now, what will be the total revenue? The total revenue will be there. The price okay. times the quantity. Yes, price times quantity. Yeah. So it will be 700. So the first system will be what? 700 times 60. Minus. Okay. The first, for the first system, always take note the total revenue will be for the first system. The revenue for the first system and the revenue for the excess of system. 700 times 60 plus then the revenue for the excess will be the price, which is 700, 700 minus 10x minus 10x times x times x. So simplifying we'll get 22,000. What's the 2,000? Is it a free year or JCR? I am hearing myself back. Okay, let's go. So 42,000 plus 700X. 700X. Plus 700X. Minus 10x squared, isn't it? Minus 10x squared, isn't it? Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, Japan. Or BHJCR. Mute yourself. Hey, Japan. Man, because I'm with a noisy background. We don't swear. We don't say any more bow with chi. We don't hold hold any more class. Then you are mute yourself. Now let's proceed. So, moving forward. So this is our so our negative ten x squared. Our total revenue function. Negative ten x squared. Plus what? Seven hundred x. Plus forty two thousand. So this is our uh, function of interest. This is our function of interest. So from here, at extremum, f prime of x is equal to zero. So when we differentiate, what do we get? 
negative 20x plus, plus 700. Plus 700. It's equal to zero. Then negative 20x is equal to negative 700. So x is equal to negative 700 Five. divided by 20, divided by negative 20. So x is equal to 35. Yes. So take note. So let's differentiate and see if this one will be the maximum, actually. So we differentiate again, you get negative 20, which is less than zero. So it's maximum, right? Are you following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you go with this approach, note that the X here is not the total. Look at this. With this one, you said, let X be the order above 60. Let X be the order above 60. So what will be your total order? Who can tell me? Total order will be what? Mm. X plus, X plus 60. X plus 60. So 60 plus X. Or X plus 60. They are all the same. So what is our... So 60 plus what? 35. 35. And I give you what? 95. 95. So whichever way you go, you bring out the same answer. So you can choose to go with this approach or this approach. But here you will get your answer straight, which is X equals 95. Here, when you get it, you have to add it to the system to get your 95. But this one is shorter. The second one is shorter. Please, do you understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so let's stop. Some questions, some more questions on that. We'll come and solve question 12. But before we come there, question 13, I'm sure you can go and do it. Uh, or let, we should do question 13. No, question 13, you should be able to do it. They have given you your price uh, and they have given you your average cost. You should go and you should be able to go and do it. Uh, let's go. Question 16. So you should do I'm coming. Let me. Let's go to this tutorial set. Let's look at question 11. Let's look at this question. Read. Someone should read. 
A TV company currently has 100,000 subscribers paying a monthly rate of 40 CDs. A marketing research indicates that there will be 1,000 more subscribers for every 25 pesos decrease in the rate. At what rate will maximum revenue be attained? And how many subscribers will there be at this rate? Thank you very much, Erica. A TV yeah, company currently to. has how many subscribers? So currently, how many subscribers? 100,000. So current subscribers. So current subscribers is equal to what? 100,000. And what is the rate, current rate? Current rate is what? 40. 40. So at this rate, okay, at this rate, or and at this, the, what is the revenue they are earning? I think 400,000. They are earning a revenue of what? 400,000. 4,000. Yeah. 4 million. 4 million. 40 times. How could you trade me? Ah. Let's move on. So at this rate, they are earning a revenue of 4 million. But they are saying that a marketing research indicates that there will be 1,000 more subscribers for every 25 percent decrease in the rate. So it means that any time you decrease the rate by 25%, 1,000 more people will come. You decrease, 1,000 more people will come. So let's do some rough, rough work. Pay attention to the rough work I'm going to do. When the rate goes down by 25%, what will be the new rate? It's 9.75. 39.75. And what will be the number of subscribers at that rate? 100,000. 101,000. Now find the revenue for me. With this. Four million and fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifty four zero one four seven five zero. So you see that? Have you seen that the revenue has gone up? Have you seen that the revenue has gone up for four million to this when yeah. they decreased yeah. and the thousand more people came? Yes. Sir. Have you seen that? Yes, sir. Now let's decrease again. If we decrease again, what will we get? 39.50. After point, you don't mention it as a yeah. number. At this rate, what will be the subscribers? 102,000. And what will be the revenue? 4 million. In twenty-nine thousand. So you see that it has gone up again. Let's do last one. When they decrease the rate again, what will happen? What will be the rate? Thirty-nine point two five. And what will be the subscribers at this rate? Thousand. One hundred three thousand. So what to be the revenue? Four zero four two seven five zero. Pardon? Four million and forty two thousand seven seven fifty. So you see that it has gone up again. Isn't it? Yes. So at what point would they get the maximum? We don't know that point. And how many, so let's, how many times should they decrease the rate? How many times? Because we have decreased once. 
The revenue go went up. We have decreased twice. The revenue went up. They have decreased three times. The revenue went up. So how many times should they decrease the rates so that subscribers will come? We don't know. So we'll present that with a variable. So let X be the number of times to decrease the rate. Let X be the number of times to decrease the rate. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So if X is the number of times to decrease the rate, then what will be the new rate? Who can tell me? The new rate will be? The current rate. My which is, rate. exactly, which is 40. 40 so the new rate is equal to 40 minus 0 0.1 to 25X. Because it will go that the new rate will be multiply the number of times you decrease this by the by subtracted from the 40. Then what will be the subscribers at this rate? Hmm. 100,000 plus 1,000X. Exactly. Oh, you guys are good. Yeah. We have a business mass rough. 100,000 plus 1,000 what? X. X. Because the number of thousands that will come depends on how many times we decrease our rate. So, can we find our revenue? We know that. We know that. Total revenue is equal to what? Here, in this case, it will be what? Rate times subscribers. So we are using the new ones uh, only. So, so we are looking at the maximum. We are looking at the maximum revenue. The maximum revenue will, be, will depend on our new rate and our new subscribers, isn't it? The old rate and the yes, old subscribers yes. is not necessary. So what is our current, what is our new rate and what will be our new subscribers? That will give us our maximum revenue. Yeah. So what is our new rate? <laughs> our new rate is 40 <laughs> minus 0.25x. And our subscribers is 100,000 plus 1,000x. Then you simplify. So you open the bracket. So the first one give us what? 4 million. 40 times 100,000 will be 4 million. Then 40 times 1,000. So it'll be plus. 40,000 X. Are you following? Yes. Then negative 0 0.25 times 100,000. Negative 25,000. Negative 25,000 X. The negative 20, uh, 0 0.25 X times 1,000 X. 250 positive 250. Positive 250. Pardon? Positive 250. Positive. Negative. negative. So please pay attention to the signs. Hey, would you a uh, plus now you're minus once and you're wrong? So please pay attention to the signs. 250 S squared, right? Yes. Good. So rearranging this. Oh, sir. Ah, yes. The piece, where's the uh, total revenue for the uh, first, uh, first 100,000 subscribers? No, this is not, this is not like the second one, we, the first one we saw. 
here we are interested in what is our new rate and what is our new subscribers that will give us our maximum look at it look at what i was demonstrating here look at our new rate our new subscribers it gave us this new rate new subscribers no here we are not adding the old one plus a new one okay yours is to find the, the rate and the subscribers that will give your maximum revenue so we are not adding the old one and the new one okay, and the old you. one and the new one will play a role that's why our new rate will be the old rate minus the 0 0.25 x And our subscribers will be the old subscriber plus. So our subscribers will increase whilst our rate will go down. Are you okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And if you look at our opening of the bracket, eh, you can see that we have multiplied the 40 and the 4. Look at this 4 million. Look at this 4 million here. Look at this 4 million here. Look at this. It's not the 40 times the 1 million, 800,000. Yeah, is it? So it is not like that. So total revenue will be negative 250x squared. Plus 15,000x. So the 40,000 minus is 15,000 x. Plus That's 4 million. What? Four million. So that is our function of interest. This is our function of interest. Then when we have gotten our function of interest, differentiate equal to zero and solve for x. So at extremum. F prime of X is equal to zero. So what is our F prime of X? When we differentiate, what do we get? Negative 500X plus 15,000 is equal to zero. So, So negative 500x is equal to negative 15,000. So x is equal to 15,000. Negative 15,000 divided by negative 500. 30. X is equal to 30. 30. So X is equal to 30. So it means that let's see if this is a maximum. So I'll differentiate the second time. What will you get? Negative 500. 500. So it's less than zero. Hence, that this 30 is what? Maximum. It's the um, maximum, maximum point. Thank you. Point. So it means that they should decrease the rate 30 times. And a trip. And say, I can see it was one. So this is the short way to find your answer. <laughs> So, what will be the new rate? New rate will be what? what? 40? 40 minus 0 0.25 multiplied by 30. So, 0 0.25 into bracket 30. And that will give you what?
32.5. Then subscribers. So what to do the revenue at this point? So maximum revenue. Four two two four million two hundred and two hundred and twenty-five thousand. So maximum revenue will be the thirty two point five. times 130,000. And I give you what? 4,225,000. Please you understand? Yes, sir. If you like, decrease the rate again. Let's decrease this rate again and see something. So if we decrease the rate again, this maximum rate now, you know, new rate, we decrease the same as the So if we decrease the rate, what will you get? 32.25. And what will be the subscribers at that rate? $131,000. Good. Now find the revenue at this rate. Four million two hundred and twenty four thousand seven hundred and fifty. Have you seen that your this one has decreased from this? What's the way at two hundred twenty five thousand? We yeah. actually at two hundred twenty, even though we have decreased the rate and thousand more people have has come. So it means that this is the peak. This is the peak. We call we decrease the number of bar after the other start making losses where your revenue will start falling. So this is the peak. Mm. Sir, please, in exams, when they tell you to find maximum revenue, profit or like maybe minimum cost, will your final, your final answer, do you have to add a CD sign? That is, you can add it, yeah, you can add it, you have to add it, add it, add it, add it, add it, okay, don't forget, add it. So this one will be GHS. That's all. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Let's look at question 12. This question. Yo, and you're not off. You answer question now. You're at two borders. So read for me. A manufacturer for a product determines that for its first 600 units of the product sold, their profit is 40 CDs per unit. The profit on each of the units beyond 600 is decreased by five pesos times the number of additional products produced. Find the profit maximizing point. 
a output, sorry. Note that orders cannot be less than 600 units. Yo, thank you very much. One of you. Now let's go on. So let's understand the question. Anytime you see the question, make sure you understand the question before you ask you, you start attempting. So a manufacturer determines that for its first 600, what is the profit per unit? So first 600, what is the profit? 40 Ghana cities per unit. Good. It is, so you can find a total profit for first 600 there, you can find it, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Now, they are saying that the profit on the unit above 600, for the profit on each, so they take note of the word each, the profit on each of the unit beyond 600 is decreased by five pesos times Wait, a year, Solomon, your, your child is disturbing us. Solomon. So, the profit on each of the units beyond 600 is decreased by five pesos times the number of additional units produced. Find the profit maximizing output. Note that orders cannot be less than 600. So here, this is the, uh, this question is like the very first one we solved. Oh, it's like the very first one we solved. Okay, it's like the very first one that what we solved. So let's start. So I'll go with the second one, the one I used, the second approach I used. So I'll say that let X be the units above 600. Let X be the units above 600. Are you with me? Yes. So for this one, what will be the profit per unit? What will be the profit per unit for the unit above 600? Will be, they said that the profit per unit, which is 40, decreases is minus. Okay, decreases by what? Five pesos. How do you write five pesos? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Good. Which when who try? I bet how? Who controls 0 0.5? Are you wrong? 0 0.5 is 50 pesos. Monkai. So 5% is 0 0.05. So it's decreased by 0.5% times what? So times... The number of additional... So what is the additional unit? Say X. X. Let's say it is X. So simplifying this, what we get? We get 40 minus 0 0.05 what? X. Are you with me? Yes. Good. So okay. our total profit. Ah. Now we're gonna make one payana. Where are they? Oh, flip. Mick, mute yourself. Sorry. Now, our total profit will be the profit for the first six hundred. Plus the profit for the above 600. So the, for the first 600 is what? 600. So the uh, profit is, let me quote it here. Eh? Here, profit is profit per unit. Times units. Okay, profit per unit time units. So, profit for the first 600 is 600 times what? It's for, uh, the 40 times 600. 
Then plus the profit for the unit above 600. Profit for the unit above 600, what is the profit per unit? The 40 minus 0 0.05x. Then what is the unit itself? X. 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 Thank you. You people are good. So what do we Thank get? Thank you, sir. 24,000. That will open the bracket. 40 times X. So plus. 40x minus 0 0.05x zero zero square. square. Thank you. They are rearranging this. So let me use e for profit. C is equal to negative 0 0.05x squared plus 40x. 40x. Plus 24,000. 4, so this is our function of interest. Now having our function of interest, we differentiate to equal to zero and so forth. So at extremum, F prime of X, equal to zero. So what we differentiate, what do we get? 0 0.1x plus 4 is equal to zero. So, so I believe the 0 0.1 has negative attached to it. Thank you. So what will be our X? X got what? 400. 400. So this X 400, let's see if that is the maximum. So we differentiate again. When you differentiate again, what do you get? Minus well, 0 0.1. Which is what? Less than? Less than zero, so it's maximum. So maximum. So let know your definition for X. Our X here is the unit above 600. So what will be our total units? Um, thousand. So total units or maximum total units is equal to 600 plus X, okay? So 600 plus 400, and that will give us 1,000. You realize they, they, they said, note that others cannot be less than 600. Someone will solve the question and at the end of the day, his answer will be lower than 600 if you see sir, that you are wrong because they have told you that others cannot be less than 600 units. So if you don't solve it well, your answer will end up being less than 600 and you are wrong. Alternatively, you can try to represent X with the total units, then you solve using another, but I will not do that. Are you with me? Yes. Oh, Johnson, I've not seen your message. I just saw it. Abigail can make you.
questions and crowd only had a network cry and yet. So do they have a network in a big one? You know, I'm going to was. Okay, let's move on. Hey, Rosina, I've not heard your voice before. Rosina Hammond, speak and let me hear your voice. Say good morning. Yo, good morning. Uh, who else? Stephanie, Sello, Sandra, Salma. Mui na mentite mu voice puta. Na ma Josephine ne hongi kamo. Audrey, mui na mo ba na mo mute mo hosa. Mo kasa ne yento mo kasa. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now. Question eight. This question eight here. Question eight now, Mumu Ahano. Okay. Question eight now, Mumu Ahano. That is the question. I don't know your question, we were Hano. I don't know question seven, Wahano. Okay. But I told you the last time that this question is not complete. This is the correct question. And the question eight. No? The manufacturing cost of an item is six hundred unit, six thousand units as overheads. Material cost is given as five cities per unit, and the cost of labor is one over sixty of the square of the number of units produced. Find how many units that must be produced such that the average cost is minimum. This is the correct question. So our question we in there one seven there one uh, it's not it's an incomplete question okay it's an incomplete question. so should we yeah, solve please, this can you, go, yeah, please, can you go back to the previous solution yeah the board the board yes there's yeah. a board okay you want to thank you okay. okay so should we solve this particular cost question or you yes. can, or you go and try or the own cassette oh say i'll go and try yes. should we solve it or you you let us solve that's all This particular tutorial set, I have the solutions. Eh? I have the solutions typed and everything. If I like, I can give it to you. If I don't yes. like, if I don't like, I won't give it to you. Sir, 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 please please like please like. Like. So it's not every question we'll solve here. I have the solutions typed and all that. So. So we are solving two more questions that will end the class. This particular one and one past question, which is in this tutorial set, the bunny hostels question, we'll solve it. Then we'll end the class. The next class will be on integration. Integration. Yo, read for me, my good reader. The manufacturing cost of an item is 6,000 CDs as overheads. Material cost is given as five CDs per unit, and the cost of labor is one over 60 of the square of the number of units produced. Find how many units that must be produced such that the average cost is a minimum. Such that the average cost is minimum. So let's pay attention. So here, what is our function of interest? 
Average cost. The average cost. Average cost. How do you find average cost? Total cost Total over cost quantity. Over quantity. So average cost is total cost over quantity. Let's use X as our quantity. Now, do we have total cost? Um, not yet. So how do we find total cost in this question? Fixed cost plus the variable cost. So we we'll apply the fixed cost and the variable cost one. So our fixed cost here is the overheads. Okay. Yes, sir. Overheads. Overheads is the same as fixed cost. Because overheads do not, even though we have variable overheads, but let's take the, this one. Overheads do not vary with output. So that's a six down. Now, material cost. Um, five CD per unit. So material cost is five CD per unit. Yes, sir. What will be labor cost? Um, one over sixty per um, uh, one over sixty square per unit. No. One over sixty times the unit square. So what is our units? So let's let's look x the unit. Okay. So let x be the units produced. So what's what will be our labor cost? One over sixty square. No. One over sixty x squared. X squared. One over sixty x squared. It says the labor cost is one over sixty of the square of the units produced. So one over sixty one over sixty x squared. That means material cost to be five x. Yeah, five x. That's why I've brought five per unit. So total cost here will be TVC. Plus TFC. Now TVC is a material cost five x plus labor cost, which is one over sixty x squared plus fixed cost of six thousand. Okay, that's it. So, when you have this, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. When you have this, then you find the what? Average cost. Average cost. So, average cost. It's equal to 5x plus okay. 1 over 60 x squared plus 6,000 all over x.
okay, all over x. So note that each of them is over x. So our average cost finally will give us five plus one. So five x divided by five. Five. Uh, five x divided by s is five. Plus. Plus one x. One sixty x. Plus one over sixty. <laughs> one over six thousand. One over sixty x. Plus. 6,000 over x. 6,000 over x. 6,000 x. So this is our average cost. So this is our function of interest. I are saying that differentiate this and equate to what? Zero and so for x. So at Extremal f prime of s is equal to zero. So what we differentiate, what do we get? Um, mm -hmm. One over one over sixty. One over sixty plus mm -hmm. plus what? Um, minus um six hundred. So X good. If you want to differentiate this, so if you want to differentiate six thousand over X, we are differentiating this. You will change this one to the inverse, which is six thousand X to the power negative one, before you differentiate. So when you differentiate this, you will get what? And you hear x minus one all over x squared. So the ideas of this will be negative 6,000. 6,000. X to the power negative what? Negative two. Negative two. There you are, you will rearrange this one well again. So rearranging this one well, you will get negative six thousand over what? X squared. X squared. So this is what you will bring here. It will be minus six thousand over x squared. All of them is equal to zero. So it's minus, so make sure you bring it. So one over 60 minus six thousand, all of them is equal to zero. That will continue. So we'll get one over 60. One over 60 is equal to 6,000. Over x, over x squared. So we cross multiplying, we will get x squared is equal to. Three sixty thousand. Pardon? Three sixty thousand. Three hundred and sixty thousand. 
So how many answers are we expecting here? Two. Two. So x is equal to plus or minus root of. Plus or minus root of 360,000. So what will you get? S is equal to plus or minus what? 600. Plus or minus 600. So when you have something like this, automatically just choose the uh, positive. Okay, even though you can't do the second derivative test to find it, but choose the positive because you cannot produce negative outputs. Okay. So our x is 600. So positive. So the 600 units must be produced to minimize cost. Now let's solve the Bunny Hostels question. <laughs> This question. It's Please ask a question. So when you get the 600, are you supposed to do the second derivative test to prove that it's a minimum? I am cost? saying that I just said that this 600 is plus or minus. So it is two answers, plus or minus. We are supposed to choose one. And I'm saying that choose the positive because you can't produce negative outputs. So, no, I'm trying to say, will you have to prove the average cost is minimum? Like yeah, you using the yeah, you can use the second derivative test to do that if you want us to do that. Okay. So you differentiate this function again. And when you differentiate this function, if you differentiate this again, this particular one, look at this, look at this. Look at where they read it. If you differentiate this one again, what will you get? You get 12,000 x to the power negative three. Well, this one will be zero. This one over system will be zero. So it is this one that we can differentiate. So to be 12,000 x to the power negative three. Okay. So if you like, put them there. Negative 600 and positive 600, put them. So it will become 12,000 over x to the power 3. So if you differentiate this one again, it will come. It will come 12,000 over x to the power 3. So put positive 600 and negative 600 there. The one that will give you a positive answer is the minimum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm saying that the positive will give you the positive answer, and that is the minimum. So let's solve the Bunny Hostels question. Then we end the class. <laughs> the past question. <laughs>
Okay, let's move on. Please read for me. Bali Hostels has available 170 rooms. When the rent is 2,100 cities, all rooms will be rented out. However, there will be four unoccupied rooms for every 40 cities increase in the rent charge. If the cost of running the hostel is a fixed cost of 100,000 and a variable cost of 880 cities per an occupied room, what is maximize Bani Hostel's profit? And what will be the number of rooms that should be made available for rent? Yo, thank you very much. So let's try and understand the question. So currently, how many rooms has Bani Hostel? And 70. So current current rooms current number of rooms let me make it current rooms for typing 170 and what is the charge current charge 2000 so current rent. Oh, no, no, no. 2100. Okay. But they are saying that at this charge and rate, they are not getting the maximum profit. So they want to increase the rent. But you know the relationship between demand, between price and demand, such that the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. So they say that there will be four unoccupied rooms for every 40 increase in the rent charge. So if you increase the rent by 40, four people will go. Okay, four people will go. We are to find the chart that will maximize their profit. So, what is the function of interest? Profit. Profit. Profit is the function of interest. So, we don't know how many times they should increase their rent. Do we know? No. No. Like the way we saw the uh, that question, the subscriber's question. That one was a decrease. Here is an increase. We don't know how many times they should increase the rent. So let X be the number of times to increase Let X be the number of times to increase the rent. So at this rate, what will be our new rent? Who can tell me? New rent will be what? Um, um. 2,100 plus 40X. Thank you. Which school did you go to? 2,100 plus 40X. Then what will be the rooms? 170 minus 4X. One, thank you. So, our focus is to find profit. Let me say, let Z be profit. So where you see prof uh, Z, it is profit. So how do you find profit? Okay. 
Yes. How do you find profit? Are you there? Can you guys hear me? Sir, please, your line is breaking. Is it okay? Sir, it's still breaking small, small. Please, is it okay now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How do you find profit? Total revenue minus total cost. So TR minus TC. So let's find our revenue. So TR is equal to rent times rooms. So we'll use the new one. So our new rent is 2,100 plus 40X. And our rooms are 170 minus 4X. So let's open. So 2,100 times 170. 357,000. 2,100 minus 4x. 8,400x. It's 8,400x. So minus 8,400x. Then 40 times 170. Plus 6,800x. Then? Minus 160x squared. Minus 160 S squared. So simplifying this, we'll get minus 160 S squared. Uh -huh. Then 8,000 X plus minus 1,600 X. Plus what? Three. Five seven thousand. So that is our total revenue. Who is living by the sea? There's so much breeze at your end. Now, let's go on. So that is the total revenue. Now, how do you find total cost? Fixed cost plus variable cost. So total, total cost, cost is equal to TBC plus TFC. So how do you find TBC? TBC is the variable cost per unit, which is how much? Um, 880. 880 times what? Who can tell me? Um, um, 170 minus 4x. Times the rooms. That's good. Times the rooms. Well, it varies by the number of rooms. So 170 minus what? 4x. So that is the total variable cost plus fixed cost of um, 100,000. 
So opening this, we'll get 136,000. So what around 36,000? Minus 3,200 X. Plus 100,000. So finally, our total cost is equal to one one thirty six thousand two hundred and twenty six thousand two hundred and thirty six thousand minus three thousand two hundred. Please, I hope you are all following. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so if the eight, values for the, um, yes. for the expansion are wrong. 880 times 170, what are you getting? 149,600. Please add them well, okay? The address is almost new, almost copy, and it will be on your attention. Uh -huh. Then the, this one is correct, eh? 880 times. No, sir, please, it's wrong. 3,520. So finally, we'll get 249,000. So here will be 3,520. Yes, sell them. Sir, please, it is 149,600. 149,600. 600. 600. 600, okay. Thank you. I hope it is correct now. Yes, sir. Good. So, please, when you are adding and uh, doing the multiplication, do it well. So having this, we can now find our profit. So profit Z, let me divide there. So our profit let me clean, let me take away this so that we can get space. So our profit Z is equal to revenue. What is our revenue? Our revenue is minus 160 X squared. X squared. Mm -hmm. Minus, minus 1,600 X. X plus. Plus 357,000. Then minus anytime you are bringing cost, I said anytime you are bringing cost, put it in brackets. It is very, very important. Note it somewhere. Anytime you are bringing, you are doing profit and you are bringing cost, put the cost in brackets. Four. So the cost will be two, four, nine, six hundred. Erica, you are yes, back So, two, four, nine. Six hundred minus three, five, two, zero, X. They open the bracket. So Z is equal to negative 160 X squared minus 160, 1,600 X 
plus three five seven thousand. So it become minus two four nine six hundred plus three five two zero. So you see that because we brought the brackets, the signs have changed. The signs have changed. Yes, sir. So here it was positive two four nine six hundred minus three five two zero. So because of bringing the bucket, it has changed to negative two four nine six hundred to plus three five two zero. If you don't bring the bracket, yeah. you'll be this forced. is negative one sixty, not two sixty. It's negative one. The first one. No, the uh, first one. Oh, okay, thank you. So it's not. A dance is hundred. Oh, say the Not final that part. one, negative sixteen x. It should be negative one sixty x. Ah, so one yeah, is correct. Yes. Okay. X squared. I'll bring the square later. So you see that bringing the bracket, the signs have changed. If you don't bring the bracket, you'll be forced to maintain those signs and your answer will be wrong. Man, cast a man can't help. Now let's move on. So simplifying, Z is equal to, so get negative 160 X squared, then negative 1600 plus 3250 X. What do you get? So plus 1,900 and 20. 1,900 hours. Thanks. 20S. Like this. Yes. Yep. Then. The negative 2 and 213,900. Are we safe? 357,000 minus 249,600. Negative 213,900. Are we safe? Say so we are not mm -hmm. safe. Yeah, what you have written is the correct one. Yes, so do the last last part. 357,000 minus 249,600. 107,400. Plus or minus? Plus. 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 The one who was saying negative, what's your answers? One zero what? Seven four zero zero. Thank you. Please, those negative and positive, no, even here, pow. A negative, no, kind of positive, but a summer back. We go from point, yeah, summer back. Yeah, they didn't bring my square. Okay. So let's move on. So this is our function of interest. From here, you differentiate equal to zero. So oh, baby, oh, oh, function of interest. You see the steps are only to get only to get our function of interest, which is this. Splitting. So, and this was a pass, this is a past question. You, when we get to, I don't know, I will not get to the time of solving past questions, but when I am organizing my classes on campus, we'll be solving past questions and we'll be meeting more of this. So I encourage all of you to attend. Now let's move on. Yes, so at extremum, F prime of X is equal to zero. So when we differentiate, what do we get? Negative 320x. 320x. Plus 1920. It will say, have you now seen that the differentiation itself in the question is not difficult? Yeah. The difficult part of the question is not the differentiation. That's why I'm saying that we are not learning differentiation for yeah. differentiation C. We are learning to be able to apply it somewhere. So the differentiation aspect may be simple. But before you get to where to differentiate, then they are simple. Mm. So negative mm. 320x is equal to negative 1920. X is equal to negative 1920. 
over negative 320. What do we get? Six. six. So x is equal to six. Let's do the second derivative and see if it is the maximum. Why differentiate again? What do you get? Negative 320. Which is less than zero. Hence, the point is what? Maximum. 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 That's all. So it means that they should de increase the rate. They should increase the rent six times. They should increase the rent six times. So what will be our new rent? New rent will be 2,100 plus 14 to bracket six. Give us 4,500. 4,500. Then a new rooms. I'm sorry, 2,340. So, uh, <laughs> 2,000 what? 340. Yo. Then our rooms will be 170 minus 4. So, 4 into bracket 6. And that would be what? 146. 146. 146. Then if you want to find the profit, put the six into the profit function. This, this is the profit fun function. Put the six here and you find the profit. So maximum profit is negative 160 into bracket six squared. Plus one, nine, two, zero, bracket six. Plus one, zero, seven, four hundred. So what would I give you? One, one, three, one, six, zero. One, one, three. One, six, zero. And then you are done. So that is it. So I would say. Yes. Uh, I had one, two, four, six, eight, zero. Yo, throw it. Uh, bo -bo -bo. I am not typing. I am not typing in you. Yo, I bet I say. No, you how come? Yeah. Check it again. I bet I bet I say you know that thing. Now calculator I fail you. So if your calculator is sick, make sure you diagnose it before you send it. Okay. Me they have written this. If you you think it's wrong, I get this. Thing. So when there for today. On Monday, God willing, we shall start with integration to make it a point to present yourself. And I, I think I've given them the tutorial set already. They have sent them to you. Some of the questions are likely examinable questions. Make sure you try your hands on them. And do someone, some are straightforward. Please make sure you try your hands on them. And I'll see about sending the solutions, the type solutions to that particular tutorial set. I'll see about that. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Sir, sir, they will be waiting for your solutions, please. So I wish you a very good, a nice weekend. Enjoy your Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Same, Same to you, you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye, sir. <laughs>